Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and why don't you sit back, relax, and let me tell you about Metro Exodus. During my trip to E3 2018, I was able to check out a behind closed door demo of the new Metro. Now, full disclosure, I have beat the other Metros, but it has been three or four years, so I may have forgot a few things. For the purposes of this demo, we got to explore a very early part of the game. It was so early that we didn't even have our binoculars yet. Now, it should be mentioned, the game was still in beta, and they did mention this multiple times. There would be a few bugs here and there, but honestly, outside of a few animations, we didn't run into any bad bugs. Like the previous Metro games, you will be playing as Artyom a few years into the future, and this time you are actually playing from a train as opposed to the tunnels underneath Russia. There are a couple of others with you, a few rangers um, at the beginning, your train actually runs into some mechanical issues, which is why you stop in the area that you stop. There's an outpost here, and hopefully a mechanic. You are tasked with checking out the outpost and going to find a mechanic to help repair the train. I don't exactly remember where they were heading, I just remember it was east, and you needed the train to get there. So, you gotta get the fix. For anyone who hasn't played the Metro games previously, it is a first person shooter, stealth is heavily encouraged, and there is crafting. If you're not quiet, you're going to have a whole army on you. And if you are quiet, it makes the game a lot easier, and you don't have to go through as many resources, which are very rare in this game. The Metro series takes place after a nuclear fallout, and currently there is a nuclear winter still. In the previous games, you were actually confined to the tunnels, but in this one, you are on the surface. There are still pockets of radiation, and sometimes you have to use your mask, but other than that, most of the world is at least open to explore. Like I mentioned earlier, resources are very scarce in this game. The original game had a survival mode, making resources even more scarce. For those of you that like a challenge, I gotta figure it'll be in this one as well. I don't know if it was on during our demo, but uh, I'll just tell you, right at the end, I got attacked by a horde of enemies and literally just ran out of ammo on my last enemy. And of course, being that it is a post-apocalyptic world, people are very untrustworthy of new faces. You gotta deal with raiders, you gotta deal with bandits, and you even gotta deal with mutants. Thankfully, there are outposts that are designed for trading, so not everyone is just going to shoot you on sight. And the new currency, I'm not really sure if it's cash, bottle caps, whatever, but it doesn't seem to be bullets. In the original game, it was high-grade bullets, and you could use it to shoot as well but it seems like that currency has been scrapped for a new currency. Like I said, only got about 20 minutes with the demo, but even in that amount of time, I could tell that the more linear style of the past Metro games is not here. It's a much more open area with a lot more exploration and a lot more secrets and supplies to be found. We were told that this area was roughly about six to seven hours of main story content. You could leave after that if you wanted, but if you did all the side stuff, it was more like 10 to 12 and this was just one of the multiple areas in the game. So if we assume that the other areas in the game are as big or bigger, we're looking at potentially 30, 40, maybe even 50 hours, depending on if you want to do everything. The game is more open, which means it does encourage more exploring, more supplies to be found, more secrets to be found, and of course, more collectibles to be found. As for the gameplay itself, shooting, movement, it all felt good. There were a couple of rough animations. For instance, when you were rowing the boat, when you tried to put the oar in the water, it didn't really go into the water. It was on top of it. And that's just kind of something I noticed. That's something that can easily be ironed out. But that was something that I did notice. There's also a new feature in the game. It allows you to craft directly from your backpack. You can craft med kits. You can craft certain throwable things like throwing knives. And you can also mod your weapons directly from your backpack. This is a nice bonus because in the last game you could craft, but you had to go to the workstations in the tunnels to do it. And now that you can do it directly from your backpack, you can be using like a silencer and then all of a sudden you don't want to use it anymore and you switch to a long barrel for long range. Just do it really quickly. Again, nice addition. There are still crafting tables and there you can craft ammo, you can upgrade your armor, you can even polish your weapon to make it a little bit more effective. These, of course, all take resources that you can find in the game. Again, exploring is very valuable, and they try to emphasize that by giving you more loot. Last thing I want to hit, 
the demo had you spending a lot of time in a boat. I really hope that isn't every area. It's fine every now and then, but I don't want to be doing it the entire game. When I was done with the demo, I was really left wanting more. And for those of you that think this game looks interesting or sounds interesting, the game releases on February 22nd, 2019.